Look Both Ways is the newest Netflix film out now for you guys to go and check out. This movie stars Lily Reinhardt as a character who takes a pregnancy test and then two timelines are branched off. One where she has a baby, one where she chases her dreams and becomes an animation queen. That's the whole premise of it. So you follow two different storylines. But it's basically a what if. What if you fell pregnant? What if you didn't? These are the two outcomes. So I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on this movie. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And let's get into this review of Look Both Ways right now. It's all the moments. But I see that. Okay, so look both ways. The newest Netflix drama, comedy, I think I, what would you say this would be? I would say it's sort of like a coming to age story, drama-esque movie. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the genre or anything like that. We're here to talk about this movie. And I tell you what, the concept is a cool idea. It's a really cool idea that could come off like an absolute banger. I mean, here's a story of someone who has a one night stand in college with a friend and then takes a pregnancy test. What would happen if you were pregnant? What would happen if you didn't have that pregnancy, like didn't get that pregnant? Where would your life be? We all have these decisions in our life of what if this happened? What if we chose this decision instead of this decision? Where would that road take us? We always want to know what if? So the idea is brilliant. Have this idea of what would happen if this had happened. Now, the as for the movie itself, while I love the idea and the concept, and I love the following the two different stories and seeing the outcome, because you can take it and add it to your life and be like, hmm, now it makes me think about what could have happened. But I just feel like the execution wasn't quite there for me for this movie. It just, I think what it really comes down to is the characters in this movie. There is too many unlikable characters in this movie. I, I really don't feel like I'm rooting for anyone in this movie at all. The only person that I actually was like rude for was the father. I thought he was pretty funny, but he wasn't on screen enough. I feel like they didn't give us enough to make us like these characters. We never liked her boyfriend from from one timeline, the one where she's chasing her dreams. We didn't get to spend enough time with them to building that relationship for us to understand where they were at that time and to connect and be like, I'm rooting for this relationship to go. But we weren't. We never got that connection. And then it's the same with the other side. I never got enough of the family dynamic. That was really skipped over way too much in my opinion. The whole growing up with having a baby. Like, that's a big step in your life. Having a kid is not something that is just, hey, you're just having a kid. That's awesome, mate. No, it's like, dude, you're having a kid. This is going to change everything. Like, it's going to change your mindset. It's going to change the way that you do things. It's going to change your goals in life. I like that. Like that, but they just never showed us that. It never showed the shift or anything like that and show us the family dynamic of raising this kid, being a co-parent, like, it just, I felt like I was missing that. So, when you don't show me that, how am I supposed to resonate with these characters? Because I can really get, connect to the whole having a kid, because I have two kids of my own. So, I know what that's like to have kids and that. So, this was like the perfect opportunity for me to be like, boom, this could be relatable. I can relate to this. I can be like, yes, awesome. This is this right up my alley. I'm going to connect with this whole timeline and how this works. But it didn't. It just, it did not feel real. Because we never got that whole dynamic of raising this kid, dealing with that. And this whole notion of once you've, like, you're pregnant, you have to give up all your dreams and goals. No, you don't have to. Yes, it's a big challenge having a kid in that. Yes, you've got to restructure your thought process, where are you going to go in life? Yes, you've got to re restructure all that, but it doesn't mean you have to give up on your goals. It just means, the, see, the way when you have a kid is, you don't push everything to the side, you make time for it. So you go, okay, cool, I'm having a baby and that, but I still want to make time for myself. 
I still want to make time for my dreams, my goals. How am I going to work on this while also dealing with this? It just works. It just You're just shifting focus from one thing, one thing. You're not going all in on one thing. So this notion that she had to give up her drawing and everything. Drawing, being an animator, is not something that you can just like... You can do that whenever. Like, you can draw whenever. You can draw all the time. The baby's sleeping. Cool. I'm going to get my rest now. Like, oh, the baby's doing this. He's, like, playing over there. Cool. I'm going to just draw while he's doing that. Like, you can still do things that progress you towards your goal in life without having to just give it up completely. So, this narrative that when you're having a baby, you got to give up your goals and everything like that, it's false. It's absolutely completely false. And I think the way that they showed it in this movie just did not feel realistic at all. So that to me was a bit of a downside as well. And again, not connected with the characters. On the other side, just unlikable characters. Her boss was just an absolute bitch. She was. She was an absolute bitch. Like, oh, telling her like, oh, I never had anyone help me. I never had this, never had that. So I'm not going to help you. Okay. And then has the audacity to say, yo, here, I basically told you to quit the job because you know what? You need to go do this and this. I'm not going to help you do this. You got to do it yourself. And then goes, here, here's a job. And she just takes it. Oh, fucking bit BS there. Bit BS there. So I just did not care. And, and like her character makes some dumbass decisions as well. And I'm kind of sitting there scratching my head like, right, okay. It is what it is. Um, it has some cool moments, some fun moments. It does have funny moments. There's one moment with the dad and mom that I absolutely loved as well on the timeline with the baby. That was hilarious. That just reminded me of me. It was just funny as crap. It just, there is moments. Like this movie does have its moments. There is a good idea there that just was not executed in my opinion. The editing is quite good as well. It's quite clever. There is clever editing showcasing the difference of where things are going and crisscrossing the timelines to meeting certain characters from one timeline to the other timeline that you wouldn't expect. And could that have changed something? But you just never know. So while it's a good concept and a good idea, the execution for me just wasn't there. The unlikable characters just wasn't there either. And I just feel like it's me. It's missing the meat. I feel like I just had a sandwich without a patty. That's what I feel like. I feel like, yo, I've just ordered a burger from Macca's and I've opened it and there's no meat patty on there. Or no chicken patty. Whichever one you want. It's just not there. And you're kind of like, well, I'm missing this. That's what this feels like. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. But it's not the worst movie. It's not the best movie. It's just kind of like, meh. So yeah. So let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think? Did you love this movie? Smash it down below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. And peace out.